Ginger Rogers has become and remained a major star, winning an Academy Award in 1940 for her role as the white-collar worker Kitty. In Gold Digger, 1933, she was the spark of a movie wearing a sequined costume and singing, We're in the Money. Later, flying down to Rio, established Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire as the nation's top pair of the 1930s. And now, she is causing long lines once again, this time around the Radio City Musical. Just Welcome. Right across Thank right you. next door. I read the Times marvelous. this morning. You've got a fantastic Wasn't review in the Times. Just beautiful. Oh, how grateful <laughs> I am for that. It's beautiful to be here. I would think the Rockettes would have to be just blown away by having you come there. Right? Oh, I, mean, I want to tell you, I'm blown away by seeing those wonderful girls in their precision. <laughs> they are so magnificent. I've always wanted to be a Rockette, but now I am <laughs> at least close, close to them. How did they propose this to you? Somebody? No, this was some dream that I, I think when I came to the opening, the opening night last year when they had this big gala yeah. and it was their first pr production I was invited to come and just be one of the guests and I am told that it was stemmed from that particular night very good my being there how does it feel to be back on the stage like oh that? well of course it's marvelous it's a big big stage but I enjoy it because I love I love being on the stage let's face it it's just fun for me it's been a while too since you've been in New York 1965 well, when you filled in for Carol Channing well, Hello Dolly. yes I filled time. in for uh, Carol I did I played a year and a half here at the uh, at the uh, 44th Street Theater but um, actually I have been here since then at the Waldorf you know, I did the Ginger Rogers show oh, with my right. poor boy. Oh, that's right, sure. Mm -hmm. right. Played two weeks here at that time in the, uh, you know, the room there. Um, what's it, that big room there? Well, you know, actually, a big room at the Waldorf. Big room, room, big room at the Waldorf. <laughs> you live in Oregon, yes. you're saying. I live in Oregon. Ranch. I have a ranch called the Rogers Rogue River Ranch, and there's fishing because we're out on the Rogue River, and if you like fishing, come visit me. <laughs> Salmon. <laughs> great. Salmon. 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 Trout, right? steelhead, <laughs> German browns, oh. name it, we've got it. You're oh. right out. Yeah. That's wonderful. It's great fun. I love it. I was reading that you don't swear, you don't smoke, you don't drink. Mm -hmm. Now don't How ask me that question. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Stop right there. <laughs> How can you have spent as many years in this business, speaking of show business, radio, television, movies, motion pictures, and not acquired any bad habits Well, let me at tell you right? one thing. Actu actually, dear, the, the, the truth is that when I did my first film, they asked me to smoke, and I really was caught on to smoking, my director, for a few, just a few years, and then I saw what an ugly habit it was, and I thought how my fingers and hair and all smelled just like smoke, so I decided to get rid of that, and I danced much better after I got <laughs> rid of it, too, I must tell you, sure. but drinking, no, I never have been involved in that. How, so, do, how do you avoid the vices? I mean, they say that's a very racy business. You know, well, I don't, uh, I don't know that you have to have <laughs> vices to enjoy life. Uh, we have some film of the Rockettes, did I hear? Oh, do we? Good. Yes, I think so. Did, you, did I hear that? Yes, let's, let's take a look at it. <laughs> First time you've seen it, right? First time I've seen the dress on film. It looks good. Yeah, it looks nice. What after this? What plans uh, do you have? Actually, there is a good, good possibility that I will be doing anything goes for a little while. And I think we start rehearsals about the 9th mm -hmm. of June. And then I play that for, I think, 11 weeks. It's not all exactly set, but uh, it will be, I think, in the near future. Are you uh, as politically active as you once were? I was reading where your mother, back in 1947, for example, testified before the House Un-American Activities mm -hmm. Committee. Yeah, and, that's right. Uh, you were, at, at one time, a very outspoken Republican. Are you I still? I am a very outspoken person. <laughs> person. And Republican? then I'm an out, I'm a, oh. and I am a Republican, too, <laughs> yes. But I'm one who votes for the man. I mean, if, if a man who was uh, the, uh, an independent, and I thought he was the one that was going to help our country, believe me, it is wouldn't a, matter. Is that is a John Anderson endorsement we just No, it isn't. There? No, it isn't. Okay. No, it isn't. I'm not saying who I'm endorsing at all. But I think it has to do with the letter R. I'm not quite sure. Oh, well, there's a no, clue. I have a, there's something about an R that appeals to me. 
What about that whole era? A lot of performers were hurt by the McCarthyism and that whole uh, communist um, hypersensitivity. Yes, because they had uh, they had the blacklists and all that sorts of th all that sort of thing. But actually, it uh, it did for a while. But it, it my goodness, some of the actors and actresses have been in murder situations and they've gotten. You know, and they people, the audiences accept them again. One other so quick it's a. If I hate to compare the two, but mm -hmm. uh, one other quick question: Will you ever marry again? Do you think? Well, I wish you'd ask. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> uh, yes, I'd love to be married again because I think the state of marriage is really the the heavenly state as far as the human being is concerned. I think it's the best state. So you haven't ruled it out? I haven't ruled it out oh, at good. all. Not at all. Somebody you can go Off fishing with. Yes, of course. Thank Anybody you, who likes to fish, <laughs> be my guest. <laughs> <laughs> the number to call. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank Ed. you for it's asking nice me. So back. nice to be with you. Thank good. you very much, Thank both you. of you, dear. Right. And we'll be right back. Uh, Katie Kelly's going to be talking to the newest uh, Marilyn Monroe when Live at Five continues.